Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out, can you turn paper into rock with hydraulic press? And if you just crush this, it explodes. But what happens when you place it inside of the rock maker uh, XL? This is the same diameter as the, uh, on the previous videos. I just made it taller so it's easier to fit enough material there in one go to make a rock. Of course we are going to test with uh, multiple different papers and also with some glue. I have been asked forever to add some glue onto the rocks. So we are going to do that today. But first, regular A4 sheets of paper, the stuff that made the channel. I'm going to just like soft them there. I, I, I think it's better to have totally random orientation on the papers than some like uh, clever way, because if they are all in the same direction, then the fibers are going to line up and it's not good. It's like carbon fiber, you have to like have them on like multiple directions to make them, make it strong. So I'm going to just stuff here like this. And here we go. Okay, that's the full force and no explosions at all. Yep. And then we're going to flip the thing over like this. I tried to make it lighter by removing some excess material, but it's still heavy as hell. Okay, here it comes. Oh, that's surprisingly small. We had so much paper and it's so, so thin cake. How does it feel? It's, it's like ho hockey puck. Okay, it's, this is hard. This is actually really hard. Sometimes when you crush paper, there's like limestone type of like leftovers after it exploded. But this, this is much harder when it hasn't exploded. I think we should try, will this explode? No, if, it, if you crush it like this without the cylinder, is it press proof paper now? Okay, if it would be normal paper with this tool diameter and maximum pressure, it will definitely explode. But let's see what happens now. Okay, it's spreading a little bit. It's going to go. I think I didn't completely think about that through. The shrapnel was pretty bad. I have <laughs> these clumps flying, but uh, uh, didn't break any windows or anything else. So that went pretty well after all. But yeah, I would say that it's about as hard as typical, but uh, uh, like shrapnel is much worse when you pre-crush the paper. Yeah, let's try uh, other types of paper next. Okay, then the next one, uh, post-it notes. Uh, I think this is a bit like a thinner paper. Also has some color and some glue. So let's see, will this make any difference? I think I'm going to put it like this here. This, this is pretty handy. 
Yeah, we can fit two. I think that's enough. We don't need very thick, thick hockey puck. Okay, here we go. Okay, no explosions. Seems to go pretty nicely. Yeah, before making the video, I thought it would make some sounds, like the paper would explode inside of the tool, but there's nothing like that at all. It goes very, very quietly. out from here I forgot to add the uh, lower like the bottom part for the tool but uh, I think it doesn't matter too much It's actually pretty interesting result because typically I have typically I have like one of like piece like this under this to prevent this but this time I didn't and <clears throat> I think we we have to do the same test for this as the previous one it's interesting to see what happens for this nipple here on the middle That's completely different. Uh, it seems that the post-it notes, these are not so, yeah, this much speaker. And it's not so like fused together as the like A4 sheets of paper. Yeah, completely different. Uh, I think we have to try with the toilet paper next. Okay, then king of the papers, shit paper. And I'm going to make two versions of this, one regular and one with the glue. So uh, let's first make the regular. And I think I'm going to just like put it like this. Don't include the like uh, actual roll from the middle because it's not, not the sheet paper itself. I think one roll is good because then we have the exactly the same amount for both of these going to be probably be enough enough for today's video yes and it's ready Okay, that seems to be pretty, pretty dense disc. Holy shit. I think, I think that's pretty solid. Um, yeah, let's make one with the glue. I'm going to put about half of the paper first. Or Actually, it doesn't matter, there's so much pressure that the uh, glue should be pretty easy to spread. And then the glue. And I have the uh, most advanced high-tech glue available. Eris Keperi, it's like regular wood glue. But the uh, paper is made out of wood, so should be pretty good. And we don't have to add much because this is the uh, final volume of this. So... I think we are going to uh, aim in around maybe 10 or 20 percent of glue of total volume. So that's probably 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 too much already, but I think it's 
better to have too much than too little. And then more paper. Okay. Uh, one interesting observation was that the piston came up after we released the pressure and I think that's because glue sealed this better so there wasn't any holes for the air to come out. I think I should probably add small like one millimeter hole to the uh, bottom part of the tool to let the air out on vi videos like this. But I think we still made pretty good rock even with, with the air still inside. Yeah. There is some glue on the piston. Interesting stuff here. It's still really hard. The like outer outer surface is like wet from the glue. I'm going to clean it out. Seems that I'm missing my last clip of the day for some reason on here on editing. But the uh, uh, finished product was a bit softer than without the glue, of course, because it's slightly wet. And I want to let it dry like completely. I was running a bit late this week already because I had flu on start of the week. So I was filming this like yesterday. But uh, if you have ideas what else should I infuse with the glue and make like glue rocks, please let me know. And I will make them on start of the next week and then wait a couple of weeks for them to dry and then get the videos out how strong are like glued rocks. So any good like uh, stupid composite material ideas down in the comments. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.